so please and please like the video subscribe it will only take a, a second but it really really helps this channel to grow and to develop hello everyone today i'm going to be showing you how to send emails with node meta and react so it's going to be a very quick tutorial so let's get to it now over here is a test um what you can do is that you can send an email to this email And you can just put a subject and you can just put a message and you can send the email now in our console when once that runs it's going to show up in our console as success so if we go to our gmail account we'll be able to see that email now how do we create something like this very simple uh, we're going to have two folders here we have the client and we have the server on the client you can just run npm install like i've done here uh over here npx create react app in the client directory and in the server directory we're going to do that together so we're just going to clear this we're going to say cd go back i'm going to cd into the server and in here we're going to say npm init so our package name server just say yes to everything okay so that is done now to get some of the packages we're going to be using we're going to be using say npm install we're going to be using node mailer we're also going to be using express we're going to be using cores and we're going to be using node more so we're going to allow that to install and while that is installing we're going to come to our server directory we're going to create a new file and call it app.js all right, so this app.js needs to be in our server directory. So make sure your app.js is in your server directory. So you can see everything here is installed, so we're ready to go. So in our app directory, we want to say constant express equals to require express. Then we want to say constant node mailer equals to require node mailer. Then we're going to say constant calls equals to require calls i'm going to say constant app equals to express in bracket okay then we're going to say the constant port now this is the port we're going to be running our server so we're going to be using port 5000 over here so here we're just going to say app dot use calls See app dot use express dot json limit twenty five MB. Then we're going to see app dot use express dot ur encoded. Then we're going to see limit uh, twenty five MB. As well okay so we're not going to say app dot use request res next you say res dot set header okay and here we're going to say access control allow origin okay then here we're going to put asterisk now we're going to say next all right so so far so good and just hide this so we're now going to say function send email uh we're going to say return new promise we're going to resolve and reject then we're going to say variable transporter. Now, um, a lot of you will be thinking, do I have to memorize all this code? No, you do not have to. It's available on the Node Mailer website. All you have to do is just to go there and look through it. So let's continue. So variable transporter, we're going to say node mailer dot create transport.
and we're going to be seeing service uh you can use google you can use mail.ru you can also use yahoo is all dependent on you so here i'm going to use google okay now after service google we're not going to say alt now over here we're going to say user now here you're going to put your email example at gmail.com so i'm just going to use this as like example but over here you should put your email address that you plan to use now you also need a password now this password is not your regular password it's not your email password this password can be gotten from your app password setting if you're using your gmail account okay over here is not google sorry is gmail so if you're using gmail all you have to do is to go to your gmail account go to your security and search for app password now i'm not going to do that here because i don't compromise my settings okay well, let me just cut that part out. all right so in your um google settings you just want to come to security and i want you to just search for app password so over here in app password you just click on it and you create a new app password it will show you the password which you will be placing here okay it is not your gmail password it is an app password that you get from gmail so even when you want to use another service like mail.ru you just go over to your settings and search for app passwords these are third these are passwords that are given to third person party applications to be able to send emails on your behalf okay so it's very very simple to get um just that password all right so let's continue to what we were doing now in our password we've settled that already so this is our transporter over here so we're just going to leave that as it is now we're also going to come to constant mail underscore config this is configuring the mail that we're sending to our users okay so we're saying from uh, example example at gmail.com okay and we're saying to email okay okay no now uh, we're going to be getting in our send email we're, we're going to be getting our email the email we're sending to we're going to be getting a subject I'm going to get in a message so over here we can now say to the email that we're sending to and the subject should be the subject that we have and then the text should be the message now if you are confused by what i did here is this is just simply doing this it's the same thing okay so we're saying the subject uh, property should be filled by this subject that we're passing through this function okay so it's very very simple right so now let's continue we've gotten our mail configuration we've gotten the user's email the user email we're using and the app password okay and the service we're using is gmail okay so we've set all of that up now we need to um create a function that will send the email so we're going to say transporter transporter dot send mail okay mail underscore config configs then we're going to say function error and info then here we're going to say if error okay we're going to say console.log error and return reject message and error occurred okay is this occurred spelled right no we need another r exactly so after that we're going to say return resolve message email sent successfully okay so that's that for that now we need to configure our port because uh on our client end we're going to like um um fetch 
that API. This is going to be like an API call. So we're going to be fetching that from our client side. So we need to configure how we are going to like access this function. So what we're going to say, we're going to say app.get slash. Now this slash is, is simply saying for us to access this function, uh, you can just type in on your browser, say local host dot, uh, no, sorry, it's wrong. Uh, you see local host 5000 slash. Now the reason is 5000 is because that's the port we're using here. You can always configure this to be any port you want. It depends on you. Then slash is what we're using here. You can also say send email. Then for you to access uh, this function that we're going to work on, you have to send, you have to use it like this, send email. Okay, I know, I know that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, let me know in the comments. I will explain for that for you personally, okay? So here, we just need a slash. So over here, we're going to say request res, okay? So this is the function. Now we're going to say send email, right? Um, request dot query, and we're going to say dot then response results send response dot message okay then we're going to see dot catch error res dot status 500.send error.message Okay, uh, over here, this was supposed to be in Okay, yeah Alright, then we also need to say app.listing Say port on so dot log and we're here we're going to see node mailer is listening at http slash slash local host and then the port number. Okay, so we've configured our, our, our backend here, but I'm going to change this port to 4000 because I already have something running on 5000. I don't want it to get like conflicted. Now let us run this server. To run the server, all you have to do is use node mon and say app.js. Okay, and you click on it. Now you can see a node miller is listening at um, the port 4000 like we asked it to. Now we're going to go to our client side to configure our uh, this thing, what the user is like seeing. So let's go to the client side, go to app.js. I want you to delete most of these things. You don't, you're not really going to need it. And uh, your test um, logo, this and this. Okay, so you go to your index. I want you to wipe this. Then I want you to go to this code and just uh, you can just leave that there. Uh, all right, so we're wiping this. And we're wiping this. Okay, exactly. Now, how do we connect this front end to this back end? It's very very simple. Okay. Now all we need to do is create another terminal here and we're going to cd into client this time around we're going to play now we have to import install sorry axios i think this is spelling yes we have to in install this because this is what we're going to use to do all our fetching okay so here in our div we're going to say impute 
type equals to text and we're going to say please folder um, recipient email okay all right then we're going to see we're just going to close this because we've not created so here we're going to delete this we're also going to delete this because it doesn't even exist then over here we're going to say constant email set email equals to use states okay then we're going to do this two times uh, we're going to get subject we're going to change here to subject here we're going to change this to message and here we're also going to change this to message okay perfect now let's run this so that we can be seeing this on the screen we don't want to be seeing this one so we're going to clear this and say npm run dev okay not a that's not npm okay not npm run dev sorry see keep using uh next.js codes instead um npm starts Okay, so we need to run it on another port because I'm using that port already. Okay, we need to go to the index and wipe on this. Okay, so we can see our recipient email here. Uh, in our index, uh, we just want to come over here and say div. So everything is in the middle for us. Margin zero or two. Then we're going to say width one hundred percent. Then we're going to say text align center. Okay. Then in our input, we're going to say margin ten dx. Okay. Perfect. Now, let's go back to our app directory. Now, in our app directory, we need to create the other thing. So here, we're going to say on change. Is it going to equal to a function event? And say set email to e.target.value. Okay. Then we're going to say br. When you say input type text please holder uh, subject on change in C E E the set subject E dot target dot value okay perfect then here we're going to see another break line then we're going to say text area please hold uh, message you say on change equals to e e dot target dot value no, 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 no. it's not correct it's supposed to be set message e dot target dot value okay okay exactly so now another brick line and then button and on click we need to send email send mail okay then we're going to say send mail all right perfect now it says send me is not defined uh we're going to fix that right away so we're going to say here constant send mail equals this equals this so here we're going to say Axios. We've not imported Axios. So we're going to say import 
Axios. Let's go in here. Import Axios from Axios. Hope this is actually installed. Let us check our package of JSON. Okay, it's here. It's here. It's here. All right, so we have Axios here. So we are going to say dot get HTTP localhost 5000. So this is not 5000, this is 4000. Remember, remember. Okay, so here we're going to say params. And the params we're going to send, we're going to need the email. Like remember when we're creating the app.js, here we need our email, we need our subject, and we need our message. And the reason this is getting passed to this function is from here. In our send email, when anyone queries this, our request.query is being put into this bracket here, which is now sent over here, which now extracts the email subject and message. So we need to pass in the email, the subject, and the message. Okay, so that's why we're passing that there. So after this happens, then we're going to put a promise. It's a promise. When so then, if it's successful, we're going to say console.log uh, success. Okay, very simple. Then if it's not successful, we're going to say catch the error. I'm going to say console.log failure okay so isn't this perfect all right so let's send our email to smajeremy and for our gmail.com and subject we're just going to say ninja coda and you're going, going to say it works this i'm going to send you okay so we can see here it shows success wonderful now if we go over to the gmail that we sent it to all right so we can see it here showing it works and ninja coder so isn't that amazing so that's how you can send emails to users now if you want to send multiple email email uh, emails to different people let's say more than one email address you can easily do that how can you do that after you type in the email right you just come to the back here and put comma then you type in the next email you can see another email you can put comma put space put another email uh, sample at gmail.com and you can continue like that so on and so forth just as just make sure you put comma and then the next email okay that's how you can send email to multiple um, email addresses. Okay. Now, let's say you want to send like a HTML. Let's say, for instance, the message, you don't want it to be, you want it to be in a HTML format. Okay. So let's say you want to edit the message that the person is sending. You can easily just come over to this text right here, right? And change this text to HTML. Once you change this HTML, this message, just cancel it. Then you can put this back ticks. Then you can just say, you can use your HTML tags as you would normally use. Okay. Uh, area. Okay. So over here, we can now say this should be the message. Right. Then we can come down and say in another P tag, say best regards. Okay. So over here, when we come back, we can now send this email. And you can see it says success. Okay, so let's go and check how that email. Okay, guys, so you can see here that works. You can see the message that is here and you can see the best regards that we put here. So that's how you can send HTML like uh, HTML write-ups to users as well. Okay, so that's how we can use um, Node Mailer to send emails to multiple people. So please and please like the video, subscribe. It will only take uh, a second, but it really, really helps this channel to grow and to develop. So thank you very much.